tonight. But for now, this beautiful weather is perfect for the start of the Arkansas State Fair. And heads up for those of you with new iPhones. There's a very interesting thing you may want to keep an eye on. Our Ian Russell live out there with more on this glitch. Ian. Hey, Rolly. Yeah, well, if you got an iPhone, you might have heard about this feature called crash detection. It's a feature that's supposed to keep you safe and dial 911 in case you're in a car crash and in case you can't dial yourself. The only issue, though, is some of the rides here at the Arkansas State Fair are a little rough and they could actually mimic the situations of a car crash and calls your iPhone to dial 911 by accident. There's just something about the State Fair. The food, the people, the rides. Absolutely it is. And if you go on it, you know you're going fast. And Scooter Corrick knows this place better than most. North American Midway, this is our 17th year and 45 years for me. A lifetime at the fair, he knows just how fast these rides go. So yeah, you're you're moving pretty good. When you move as fast as I'm about to, you tend to freak out in the moment. Ah! But as soon as you finish, you don't think anything of it. You had fun and that's it. But there is something that does your iPhone. iPhone 14 has a crash detection feature that um, would automatically dial 911 in the event the owner is in a crash. While you might be headed to the state fairgrounds for fun, there's a group ready for anything. The 911 dispatchers at the Little Rock Communication Center. We're just kind of prepared for those um, unexpected accidentally dialed 911 calls. The only potential issue with that crash detection feature, you ride something that throws you around like this, and your iPhone might think you're in a car crash. I think it was like 20 seconds if the, if the owner didn't disconnect or anything, it will carry that call all the way through to 911. It's a problem that's happening across the country. It's a great feature if you're actually in a car crash. Maybe not so much at the state fair though. Partly because you're not actually hurt and also because dispatchers don't know what's happening if you don't answer. You know, it can be from the from the least severe to the most severe uh, thing. I mean, we just always want to be prepared to be available to take those types of calls and relay that information to get the right responders there quickly. Green says even with the risk of increased calls, they've got plenty of people to keep you safe. <laughs> So as you head to the state fair, Green says the choice on whether or not to keep crash detection on is completely up to you. No matter what you do and no matter what happens, they'll be ready to send someone for any sort of problem. Either way, however they, they choose to, to operate their phones um, is it, good. If we get the call, we're going to do what we're here to do. And just emphasizes here, the goal is to make you aware this could happen. It is completely up to you on if you want to keep that feature on or turn it off. And Green tells me not necessarily expecting more calls, but if they do roll, they tell me they'll be ready for them. All right, Ian, thanks so much, and it's good to know you're safe out there. Thanks so much.